Yeah, I heard word around town is a popping now. Hey. Yo, it's one of those amazing nights. What is up, everybody? It is the King Hitman here. I got another Dragon Ball Z EZA Dokkan video. We have info revealed for the next set of EZAs coming to JP and Global. Well, I would think they're coming to Global. They, they, they're coming to Global. I'm not worried about it. Um, it's it's Super Saiyan 2 Gohan and Cell. I mean, I. Listen, people have been saying it, and I'm going to be honest, I didn't really think it was going to happen. I wouldn't have put my money on it, but I'm very happy that it is. Like, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Let's see what they do now. I don't... You guys know I walk in blind, so thank you to Goresh for the details. Let's get into what they do. Their leader skills are actually going to be valuable because, yeah, Android slash Cell Saga, four key stats, 180%. You can do something with that, right? At least it's a very, very, like... What's the word? A statistically like mm, valuable option, right? You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Or extreme int gets three key stats, 130%. We're on cell, by the way. Cell perfect form. Passive skill. What's his passive uh, name? A serious game. Attack and defense, 120%. Cell gets an additional attack. Or excuse me, an additional defense a boost up to 120%. The more HP, the greater the boost. He gives himself two key attack, 30% per enemy. He gets attack and defense 50% when he super attacks. He has a high chance to perform an additional super attack no matter what. It's just there. A high chance to perform an additional super, and he transforms when conditions are met. Very nice. Okay. 12 key. Sells 12 key. Raises his defense for one turn. Colossal damage greatly lowers defense. His 18 key lowers attack now and greatly raises attack for one turn. Colossal, or excuse me, causes Mega Colossal to the enemy. Uh, I'm not really bouncing off the walls because I don't see Cell being at like, you know, 7, 800k defense. Am I tripping? I mean, let's see. He's at like 80% HP. 50% defense when supering, he's raising, it really is based on that additional he does, I mean, like, I like it, I think that's a nice, that's kind of random, I didn't think they'd want Cell to be doing additionals, that never felt like his, his MO, if that makes sense, so it's very nice to see, let's see what he does when he's perfect Cell, perfect Cell, fully recovers HP once only, randomly changes his half key sphere, by the way, I'm assuming his transformation condition will get buffed slightly, I also think Gohan's will be buffed, but, <laughs> Gohan needs more than a slight buff. You know what I mean? Like, Gohan's active skill condition, it needs to be drastically changed. So, I'm assuming Cell's normal transformation, it is when HP is below 30%. He can transform on any turn. I'm assuming it'll go up to 40%. I do not think it'll go up to 50. I just really hope it goes to 40. And that should be enough to see it often enough, right? You get what I'm saying. Now, Perfect Cell fully recovers HP since we've been. He ran randomly changes the type of key sphere other than Int to Rainbow. Nice. Gives himself six key attack and defense 180%. He has a high chance to launch an additional super. He gets 3% damage reduction per key sphere obtained. Huh. Okay, he gets three key or three percent damage reduction per key sphere. He gets an additional attack and defense thirty percent when attacking. If he gets four more key spheres, forty percent attack and defense when attacking. If he gets six or more key spheres, and if he gets eight or more key spheres, he gets fifty percent attack and defense. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at Cell. I had to take a moment. He's looking exceptional. I really like what he's doing. Let's finish this up. He gains an additional attack 100% and he gets a high chance to perform a critical hit during the turn in which the active skill is launched or when key is 24. That is so crazy because his active skill... Let's see what it does. What, oh, they haven't told us yet. Oh, that's so upsetting. Okay, so we'll find out during the data download tonight what his active skill. I mean, his is real direct. It's just the turn after he becomes perfect. So let's see. So yeah, active skill can be. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. He has to be fighting one enemy and then starting from the third turn after he becomes perfect. So, so I mean, straightforward enough. I don't really think they'll change that. I don't. I don't know what they'll do, bro. Maybe I, I don't. Maybe they'll make it the same turn. I feel like that's really unlikely. 
I don't want to give you guys hopes for that. I don't think that's going to happen. Now, his super attack effects, his 12 key, greatly raises defense for one turn. That's amazing. Mega Colossal. Mega Colossal. No, that has to be a mistranslation. I mean, I don't, I don't see Goresh making that mistake, but I mean, it happens, right? Like, it's perfectly... Listen, we asked Goresh to do a lot, so it makes sense. Ah, if it's Mega Colossal, bro, that's big. Greatly raises defense for one turn, Mega Colossal damage, and massively lowers defense. His 18 key greatly raises attack and defense for the one turn, Mega Colossal, and greatly lowers attack and defense. Now, you're not really... You can take advantage of that and see that in Super Battle Road because, like I said, Cell can become perfect at any turn. So, you definitely can, like... You know, low HP, you got slapped up by an enemy on the last turn, walk into the next fight, and Cell transforms, heals you all the way back up. And now you got this, this, this animal in front of you on turn one or two. Hmm. This is really good. Now, the three, the damage reduction thing, that's just to make sure that he can tank supers a bit better. Because trust me, he's going to be fine against normals. This guy's got to be pushing, like, I mean, 180. That high chance to additional, which is a greatly raising defense, he greatly raises on both. So let's see, assume he gets both off. 100% defensive raise, assuming he doesn't get the third super. He has the mitigation. You're getting at least, like, say three orbs, right? You're getting at least three orbs. 9% mitigation. 30%, that's, um, that's multiplicative, by the way. It's when attacking with Cell. Was it always when attacking? Yes, it was. Okay, cool. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. He gets a hundred and... Wow. Yeah, I mean, he gets 120% attack and defense extra if you get the eight orbs, right? But he's orb changing. Like, this isn't... This isn't some selfish unit that provides nothing. He is orb changing other than int key spheres for himself. So you love to see those. Cell is phenomenal. I mean, that means, really, I said three orbs, you're probably getting like five, six. I, I, when you orb change to rainbow and you're not changing a certain type, like, you know, the character's respective type, I like to think you're getting like at least six. I, I feel like that's fair to say on a lot of turns. So he's getting 18% mitigation. Let's say that's the average. That means he's getting at least the first two buffs. Uh, you're going to try to get that final buff. He's getting attack 100% with a high chance high chance to crit when he gets the active or when he gets 24. Cell is really nice. I like Cell. Let's see what Gohan does. I like Cell a lot. I like him a lot. Okay, now, I know you guys are waiting for this, so let me not waste any more time. My man, Super Saiyan Gohan, come in and high category gets three key. If he's good, this will be one of the, and I know this sounds weird, but it's true. This will be one of the most valuable leader skills in the game. Three key stats, 180% to Kamehameha, or Super AGL gets three key stats, 130. Passive skill, attack and defense, 150%. Gohan gets two key, attack and defense, 20% at the start of each turn, up to eight key and 80%. He, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Holy crap. He guards against all attacks and has a high chance to launch an additional super. If HP is 58% or higher at the start of the turn. He has a high chance to perform a critical hit if there's an Android category enemy. That's irrelevant. Like, we don't really care for, for that. But his... Oh my gosh. And he's getting keys so fast. Gohan... Gohan is pretty good. I like Gohan. I like his base form much. Let's see what his Super Saiyan 2 form does. So you guys know we love Guard. All right. Well, I love Guard. Some of y'all hate Guard. I don't know why, but some of y'all don't value Guard. 12 key raises defense permanently, as it always did. Colossal damage and lowers attack now. His 18 key greatly lowers attack, raises defense by 30% permanently. Mega Colossal damage to the enemy. That's nice. It's very nice. This is... This is the, the only chance they have ever given themselves to truly, and I mean truly, like, I, I just pay pay what was owed, I guess. Like, there's so much back rent on Super Saiyan 2 AGL going on. 
Oof, man. I'm hoping they change his active skill transformation condition because, I mean, if they don't, this will be pointless just like it was before. This is their chance. They owe us. I would say they owe us one, but, bro, they owe us, like, 42. This shit's bad. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan changes tech key spheres to AGL key spheres for four turns from his first appearance. Attack and defense 158%. Gohan gets 20% attack and 10% defense per key sphere obtained. He gets an additional one key per, per sphere obtained. He randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres when facing only one enemy. So the first couple of turns, he's double orb changing tech to AGL and a certain type to rainbow. He launches an additional super attack when facing multiple enemies, amazing. He has a high chance to launch an additional super attack and a high chance to perform a critical hit when HP is 58% or below. If there's a Super Saiyan Goku attacking in the same turn, Gohan will get 59% attack when he is doing his 18 key. And if HP is 59% or higher, he will perform an additional super attack after doing said 18 key. Holy shit, man. Gohan is, is I mean, <sighs> Gohan might be like a top 10 unit in the game. I mean, the top 10 is so hard to break right now. Like, you really, we don't even ask units to break the top 10 anymore unless they're, they're premier Dokkan Fest LRs. Let's see. I mean, Golden Freeze is in there. Of course, the Seven Years are in there. Carnival Goku's in there. Piccolo's in there. Uh, God. I mean, Gohan is in there, but I guess, bro. Vegeta and Trunks, Cooler. Oh, man, I forgot about these guys. The uh, the Super Saiyan Hachi at Goku. All right. Well, even if he's not, you know, literally a top 10 unit, he is a very high up there unit. This is how you avenge him. He's avenging himself, but he's he, 12 key super attack, greatly raises attack and defense for the one turn and causes Mega Kawatsu. This is intentional. Goresh did not mistranslate. His 18 key greatly raises attack and defense for the one turn, Mega Colossal, and greatly lowers attack and defense. I'm in love. He's uh, he's amazing. He's spectacular. This is what he they owed us. Him having guard while stacking his defense. While stacking defense? <laughs> oh my gosh. Nah, I'm really... I, I, he's he's spectacular, bro. I don't really know what else to say. I mean, high chance to crit is really not that relevant. But the additional super he can launch, which means he can triple super, do that 12 key three times. I don't think I gotta say anything else to you guys. You guys see what he's bringing to the table. So once you're ready to dump out that offense, that's when you transform him for sure, which is always how it was. It's just, <laughs> it was a bit more difficult to see his, his transformation. It was, it was very rare, I guess is the best way to put it. The nicest way to put it. Let's see what his active skill condition is again. Can be activated when HP is 58% or less with an Android 16 on the team or when it's 58% or less and there is an existing Android category ally or enemy starting from turn 5. The most ridiculous transformation condition they have ever come up with. I don't know what they were thinking. It's notorious. It is the, the most slandered and, and flagrant and egregious condition they've ever given to an active skill. I don't care. It's, it's number one. It's number one on the shit list. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed. The data download will be tonight, so I hope you guys are excited. I know I am. It is the Young King Hitman, and Young Hitman, y'all already know, bro, I am off of this.